Howdy folks, uh, people were asking us how to build the steering wheel rig to hold the uh, digital SLR cameras. It's really good for follow shots, handheld shots. I'm here with Jonathan. One of the things with this is we had an idea and we went and made it and it worked pretty well but since then we've talked about ways we can make it better like putting an extra bar around the back that might help protect the camera in case it ever got dropped. I dropped it. And you know, I encourage you guys to do the same thing, figure out cool ways to make it better, whatever. Uh, so to start off, this is not my idea. This is something called a Monfrotto uh, fig rig, and Monfrotto makes it, and we just wanted to come with something a little bit smaller, um, just cheap that we could easily make. And it's good for skating, and also, when you have that, 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 uh, Steering wheel. You have that, no, well, when you have that, that body around it, and you use two arms, it helps kind of stabilize it, because it just creates this nice, Nice locked in position with you. Helps tone your forearms. And it helps tone your forearms. That's good too. Uh, pretty simple to put together. We have a socket and a little socket set and just a basic screwdriver. To start this off, we take these uh, three quarter inch conduit 90 degree elbows. And like I said, I just, this is all in the electrical stuff except for the screws. You might have to look in a different department. But you just take these and you stick them together. And we're going to make a little little square ring out of it. So, so, one thing you might want to do, I don't have any glue with me right now, but it's PVC, so if you just get PVC glue, and glue all these uh, fittings together, that way it won't rotate once you're done and, and ready to go. And another thing, um, we take some electrical tape, now that we have this little ring made, and we go ahead and we're gonna wrap the whole thing in electrical tape and it'll just help hold it together and it'll give a little bit more grip to all of our pieces here. So technically with this green suit, you can make me invisible, is that what you could do? Yes. Or you could put a different background on me, like you can make me like a jungle scene, like like leaves, like a, a person of leaves. Yeah, you'd just be a cutout in the video that's your shape. Yeah, you know? with, with leaves. <laughs> yes. But we're back. So we're back to it. So look at that. That's a fancy little ring. It was really easy to make. Super easy. And it's got like that nice grippy vinyl around it now so all of our stuff will stick and hold on a little bit better. Um, you take these little conduit dealios and you stick them over there and over there. And then one thing I forgot to mention, this will be an annotation I guess, is that you will need a drill. And you'll have to drill a couple of holes through these plates in order to put the screws through. So there's already like the four screws in the corner, those are already be there and that'll hold these plates together. But you need to drill a hole there, 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 and there, and those just match up with these conduit things. So you can see how this is gonna work here. So this will be the conduit thing, you just kinda have to stick it on there, drill some holes through it. So put these on here like this, and then we take our ring and I just stuck this uh, this comes with it this foam sticky stuff but again it just kind of holds it onto our piece there so kind of line those up and then you want to make sure that's centered in the yeah you want to make sure that's centered and I mean you can you can do it real loose at first like I'm gonna do yeah. and then uh, get it tighter so you take this is our long inch our long uh, pan head screw it's the long ones one and a fourth inch and then uh, you take we have a bag of washers you just take a washer and you put it on to that long screw and then you take it and you put it let's see, you put it through our plate. We got all of our screws put through our plate here and uh, stick it on through our little conduit holder deals and then I'm going to take a washer Put it on each one of our screws, and then we take these little locking nuts. It's the same uh, hardware you would use on like a skateboard, and we put one of those on each one of our screws, and then we're gonna tighten all this up. 
So we're back and uh, we've got this all mounted on. You want to get that on there fairly tight, but you want to make sure that when you look at it from an angle, it's not bowed down, that you haven't tightened it so much that you've bent that. Um, you want it on there so it doesn't move and it's nice and sturdy, but you don't want to like deform this really. So then our next step is we're going to take this other piece, and this is going to be the top, and it comes with these four holes pre-drilled. So you'll take uh, a screw, and this is our, what size is this? These are three-fourths inch. Panhead screws. Panheads. Put a washer on each one of them, get them going through that hole. And you're also going to want to drill a hole through the center of this piece. And that hole in the center is going to be for our one quarter inch. That is actually a one inch hex screw, one fourth inch thread. Right. And this goes into our Monfrotto quick release plate. So go ahead and get these screws all down. So now we're going to take our one quarter inch screw, put a washer on it, take that hole that we drilled, and from the back side, we're going to put that screw through our plate. The washer helps distribute the weight and pressure. All right, this is our Montfrotto quick release plate. Um, these are going to be the most expensive part of this whole project. These are like 40 bucks and they come with a plate. Um, they're really nice. We have one of these on all of our tripods, so we have one plate on our camera that we never have to take off. You snap it into our little follow camera rig and you can snap it on a tripod. No time wasted, easy to do. Um, one thing about this is there's this little bump on the bottom part of the quick release. So we can't just mount it flat onto our plate. We need to lift it up a little bit. So we have these four big inch and a half, I believe. Those right there, folks, are four inch and a half washers. And we take these and we stick them over the center there. And then we put our plate on top of them. And we go ahead and screw that down. So oh, we've got our quick release mounted on our plate now. Get that nice and tight on there so that's not going to move around. And then we come back to our, our rig here. Get this started up and start screwing that together. Oh, we've got those screwed in, our plates are together. Um, we're going to take a washer now and put it on threads of each one of these screws. The washers are there to distribute the weight and pressure. And then we take a nut and put one of these on each one. They don't have nylon threads. They're they, they could though. Again, this whole project is kind of just, I, I knew I wanted to make a fig rig or something similar and I just started buying stuff. These are probably longer than they need to be. Originally I had a bunch of washers spacing it out. It's a learning process. so. You know, you guys can, can make it your own way. But you guys is, can make it better than ours. That's, you definitely can. I want you to make it better than ours, and I want you to send a picture in of your fig rig and say that's better than ours. To Kyle. To Kyle. <laughs> so we got those screwed down, and you can try and move it around, make sure it's nice and solid. Um, this is pretty much it. This is really the basics of it. Uh, on ours, we did a few other things, like I took a uh, steering wheel wrap. Adam suggests you use tennis racket wrap, um, and we just wrapped it around like that. It gives it a nice cushy hand hold, uh, just a little bit more to hang on to there. And we just tied that around it. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the tennis wrap is probably a little cheaper, might be better experiment. You get like the, the, you know, the sweaty tennis grip stuff that reduce the sweat, that stuff could be good. Yeah, so uh, this is pretty much it then. Adam will now demonstrate some techniques for using this rig. So what I do, when I'm doing follow shots down the hill of someone, I hold it right at the top, the way of the camera stabilizes it. Come down the hill in my tuck, and I'll do this. The lower you get the camera to the ground, the more sense of speed you see, okay? So I'll be going like this. Now, for behind shots, I'll be coming down like this, and I'll be filming like this. Looking back, looking back, looking back. Now, with the 7D, it's a little hard because all the videos can be shown right here. So when you're doing follow shots like this, it's a lot of feel, folks. You're not really going to be able to see what you're filming. But if you have a nice 10 to 20 millimeter wide-angle lens on there, you'll be all right because 10 to 20 gives you a big range. Now, if you're going to do 
stationary shots, like you're staying on the ground and you want to do a pan of your friend coming by, I'll stand on the ground. I'll have it in my hands right here. You can hold it up here, but I find it best right there. And you hold it, I don't, don't keep your elbows locked, keep them bent slightly, and then nice, nice deep breath. See your subject, follow them through, okay? Nice and easy. You can do cool stuff where you do like these, uh, let's say jib, jib movements where you can start on the ground real low, subject comes by, you can pick it right up nice and smooth. It's nice to do like a nice deep inhale, then exhale as you come up. Keep you nice and relaxed. For a low shot, you could potentially set us like a tripod in a way. You could rest it on the ground, prop it up against your foot a little bit, and rest it here for a nice little low shot. Because it's hard to get the you know, tripods out of the ground. Um, so yeah, be creative with it. This is just an easy tool because if you're holding your 7D digital SLR like this, it's not as stable. So that's why we have this, folks. And to tell you the truth, like doing follow cams on your skateboard, holding this like this, very sketchy. This is a good solution.